and welcome back. My name is Vanessa from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Yesterday in part one I've built my shelter and I've slept for the first night in it. So today I had a lot of work. I want to make my shelter better and then I had to search for some bottles because I can't drink directly out of the creek and my water um, is not enough that I had with me. So I had to make a water filter. And I also had to build something to sit that I don't have to sit directly on the earth. And in the evening hours I want to start my first boat run. So you've got a lot to see. I want to eat something green now. So I had today again this wild sour clay, like we call it. Um, I eat the leaves and the flowers, but I have to say that I eat only a few flowers because the flowers in the nature should be at first for the bees and the insects. Perfect, some more spruce branches so I can make my shelter better and upholstery my bed. This is exactly for what I was searching for. Um, I saw this yesterday. So, sad. Germany, the land of beer, where the beer bottles grow in the woods. This is something what makes me really angry. After cigarettes that are picking into the wood is um, are glass bottles the next danger to let the wood burn. So, and I found the most trash from the woodworkers, not people that are going there for a walk. I found the most trash where woodworkers are working. So, they let their trash from their motor saw, their bottles, um, then something what they eat, the plastic rest of it and yeah this must be the woodworkers because I am always away from the ways so and there aren't going normal people to these places that must be woodworkers that fall tree or planting trees or do something else this is not understandable for me. And a second bottle. I left the bottles for my water filter here and first I bring the branches into my camp and then later I came back and make the water filter.
paracord make it outdoors much easier. Those branches are for my shelter, that it is complete. And those ones are for my bed, that I sleep well tonight. I put my sleeping equipment away now because now came those spruce branch inside and I hope it can balance the different um, the different wood pieces here in my bed that I can sleep tonight a little bit better. I think it will be much better this night. Now it looks much, much better. Oh, that bird had to eat someone. I will choose the beautiful feeder and put it on my head. I am back on the little creek and my plan is now cut the ground from this bottle away because this would be then my water filter and clean this bottle because um, here inside I move the water to my camp. <sighs> I can't open it. This means that I have cut this away too. Okay, this works not like I thought. I just want to cut one piece and now it is too big. So I have to use this bottle to carry the water to my camp and make the ground of this bottle away in hope that it works there better. Of course, I had to be very careful by cleaning this bottle because I've ca I can cut my wings out with it. So a plastic bottle would be better, but yeah, I just have to use what I have and so these are those two glass bottles. Nine. <sighs> this is very bad. So I I thought that it works but you see itself. So I had now only one chance and this is put here out of this bottle and small piece out. I think it doesn't work but this is the last try that I have. <sighs> so 
ein Mist, 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 Mist. Oh Mann. I've made it broken. So I had no water filter. Now I go back in my camp because I had in my backpack <clears throat> um, bag, a plastic bag that I always carry with me if I found some trash in the woods that I can take it with me. And there comes the, the glass, the broken glass inside. I had here a second plastic bag and that I don't had to go this way back um, and the next time I've put here inside some water with me here out of the creek because I hope that I found another bottle this is really sad but um, the chance that I found here more bottles um, is really high plastic or glass so I hope I found another bad bottle. If you are asking where the broken glass is, I put the bag on my way to the car for tomorrow. Sometimes you just need a little bit luck. For the water filter I had to make the ground away with the knife. I make a small hole here inside. Inside of this bottle came now different stacks. I had to search for grass, moss and small stones or sand. Perfectly would be a piece of um, clothes, but um, I don't want to put my sock here inside. Here I had grass and directly at the side moss. Perfect. Here on this end there comes a small portion of moss. The next step is coal, really much coal. Why? I tell you now. Oh. 
I've put now the coal inside and make it to small pieces that everything is full here. The coal is the important part of my water filter. Why? Because the coal um, absorb the smell and the bad taste of the water and also the dirt and bacteria. Over the coal there comes again moss, but only a small portion. The next step should be sand, but I had no sand here. So I came to the next step and make it bigger. Um, the next would be small stones. At least to catch the bigger dirt there came the grass on top. Ready, that was it. Only at least came the water here on top. So you had to let some space here where the water came in because it is better when it is flowing very slowly so it get cleaner. It works, yeah! When the water is through, I close, close it um, with my hands, the bottle, and put it again on the water. So the more the, the water came to the, through the filter, the better is it. And of course, um, after this, I can't drink the water. To be safe, I have to cook it tonight at the fire. If you had no cup to hold the water, you can use, of course, the, the bottom, the ground of the bottle. I don't want to sit the whole time directly at the ground, at the earth, and so because of this I want to make me a seat now. One here in front of the shelter and one in the background where the campfires.
the first seat here is ready and now I want a second for my campfire place. This dirt and wet air is the reason why my trousers are so dirty and tonight I don't want to do this again so I want to build another seat here. And that my firewood don't fall down the whole time I make two pieces of wood in the ground so it hit and hold. This is the piece wood for the boat rail and that the string doesn't slide I scratch here inside with my knife at both ends. I tried really hard and really long now. It is the first time that I want to make a boat rail alone. I do it only two times before with someone else and it is really hard. So I tried the different um, I tried different bows and smaller one and a bigger one and I tried how strong must be the the string and which drill pieces better and it is not so easy like I thought but I give not up. I had to be honestly to you. You see it is very dark now and you also see that this, there is no shine of fire. This means I had no fire. It doesn't work. I tried around 4 hours but it doesn't work. I tried different bows, different um, string of the string. Um, I tried another wood so, but I can't start a fire. It doesn't work. I don't know why, but it is so. So, and now I had to be so realistic that I must to say now it is enough for today's stop. So, I can also tell you a lie story why it doesn't work, but the problem is only me and maybe the wood, I don't know. So, and I can also show you, ah, here's the fire, it works. Um, but this was a lie, so I will tell you the truth, I will be honestly, because I think it is very important to show the people that um, in bushcraft and survival don't um, everything works 
perfectly from the beginning on. There are also things that are going really, um, really bad and really wrong. So, and this is one of them. So, the perfect example that not everything like we want will work. Because I thought at home, mm, yeah, I, I will try it. I think it works. And so, here we are. So, I, I don't try it at home. I only try it twice with a friend and then never again so I had to try it at home and now I make a normal fire because um, I'm really hungry now and I had to eat something and drink a little bit. The water had cooked so long as it possible that I can kill much of the bacteria from the creek water. So it had to take a little bit of time. I don't had so much water from my water filter, but it is enough because I had um, something from yesterday what I drink in the morning and in um, the middle of the day so I only need the evening uh, so the dinner and for this it is enough I think the water is ready While my food is getting a little bit colder, I make my bowl. Um, so it, it will take hours and hours if it is ready because the wood is so hard. But yeah, I had time outside. I am really tired and cold now. I feel that I don't have so much energy right now. So I've put my airfoil bowl into the hot ash, like yesterday. And then I go into my sleeping bag.
Look at the beautiful moon. It is crescent shaped. So beautiful. I am now to half in my sleeping bag. I am really tired now. Um, I I am now on my border. I know that I can go with to this point and not over this point and this is okay to know where the border is. So and then I had to stop. So stop is also this what I must to do now with the boat drill in this evening. And this makes me so angry that it don't works. I know that I am the reason why it don't works, but <sighs> I think you can understand me. I wish just so bad that it works and then nothing happens. So I show you what I've done tomorrow. Maybe you found out where the mistake is, why it doesn't work. I don't know why. So, and now I am so tired that I want to sleep. It is much more comfortable than yesterday because I put all those branches here under my bed. And if I don't would find this one, I think I would put smaller branches here between that I had a an, an balance area here. So I think I will sleep well this night. Good night. We see us tomorrow. Good morning. I don't want to stand up. I'm so tired. This is the last day and in my head there are the thoughts circling that I can take a hot shower now and drink a hot coffee and this makes me will to stand up. Look what's happened. I got yesterday the last water into the water filter and then I forgot it. And now my cup is broken. I see yesterday when I gave water here inside that the earth were dissolves again into small pieces and I had those small pieces in my water. But this was okay and now that water overnight was too much. Now it is broken. The last cup made it. It was overnight in the hot ash. But you see it is not completely dry here on top. This is dry and this here, what is a little bit darker, is also wet. No campfire this morning. 
I stink because of the fire that someone can smell it 200 meter away. So this morning I want to make a cold breakfast. This is what it looks like over my camp. Everywhere those small holes. But I don't want to sleep here under the stone because this is only sandstone and I had no good feeling if I must to sleep here. I I am not sure if it's really safe. Down there there is my camp. Really good camouflaged. Here it is. Now it begins to rain to perfect. So when it rains strong enough, I don't have to wash me. <laughs> so those are my bows and my drills. I tried three different um, with different diameter from the wood. So those three are all fresh and flexible. At first I make the small one and it don't work. So at first I had here paracord and then I thought maybe the paracord is the problem and I make here those natural gone but this doesn't work this uh, string then I make it a little bit um, massive and at least this one here and I try it with different tension of the string. Um, I make it first very strong and then like this and make it different and different and change it again, um, but it don't work. And those are my drills. At first I had a smaller one, but um, then I put it away because it is a little bit wet inside and it is um, I think it is too small and then I make this bigger one here from beach the ends are really um, good rounded off so it can it can um, work here very good so and this is my wood for it it is on dry elderberry this is okay the only thing that um, that is not so good that it's so small so when I put my foot my feet here on it um, I don't had so much space to work so and at first the drill was like this with the bark and I think maybe the bark is the problem that the string cannot fix it so and then may I make the bark off but um, all those things all tries doesn't work and I had no idea why maybe some expert of you can see um, like this what what's wrong maybe I make a big mistake but um, yeah I will definitely try it at home because I want absolutely can this I I try it really so someday it will work Look what I found here on the ground. At first I thought it is a stone, but it had not much weight. It is yeah, really light. And then there is those uh, shiny black color. Then I thought it is coal, but it don't make any color. It doesn't smell. I had no idea what this is. Maybe someone of you had an idea what this can be. The last outdoor meal for today. Cold. <sighs> 
What will I give now to have a fresh apple or a banana to put it inside? That it tastes a little bit difficult and not always the same. So, oh, it's okay. Those two here are Freddy and Susie that both are with me here outside that I'm not so lonesome. There is not so much burnt out. Maybe I had to take the next one with me on barbecue coal. So with a bigger one maybe it, is, it works better and faster. Ready? I think not so bad for my first spork. Of course I can do it a little bit better here, this points, but this I want to do at home and make some oil on it and make a hole here that I can um, put a string through and then 
It is ready to eat. My shelter did a great job the last two days. Um, normally the first night is the better night when I am over several days outside, but um, this time the second night was better. This is the reason that I found yesterday that um, branches that I lay here on um, my construction. So I sleep a lot better with this. This really makes a lot. So and it is also dry. It is rain now, since a few hours. Um, and they came only a little bit water inside. But um, if I had to sleep another night, I think it would be dry. So, and I forget every time again how long it takes to build a shelter, natural shelter. So. Um, of course I can make it smaller um, but here it just was perfect with the rock and the fallen tree and so um, I make those big one because um, bigger is more comfortable of course when it is cold I had to make it smaller for the isolation but um, so in the springtime it is absolutely okay and yeah we don't have to do always such uh, uh, much work um, to build a big construction. We had just to open our eyes and look around in the nature and then we found things like that with this rock or this fallen tree. And um, so I had just to build one side of this of the shelter. I had I just had to make a lean two shelter. If I hadn't this, if I hadn't found a an an rock or a fallen tree, I had to make two of this. And this means double work. But um, so just open your eyes. And one very important point I want to tell you. Um, you see that it was a little bit um, bad with my fire because I had my fire behind the shelter. Um, this has the reason that it is better behind because um, there I had more of the rock here at the entrance. There is not too much and I want to have the rock for reflecting and um, isolating from the heat of the fire. And Having a natural shelter and having a fire is a very dangerous combination. Why? I think every one of you knows how fast a Christmas tree can burn. So, and then think about how good it would burn when you had a fire too close to your shelter with all those dry branches and leaf. So this is very dangerous. So it is better you take the fire a little bit away from your shelter. It rains now a little bit stronger and I have to say goodbye now because the rain isn't good for my camera equipment. So those 84 hours was a great experience for me. I learned something new, I make my skills better. Um, 
I sleep two days here in those shelter. This is also new for me. I slept in natural shelter before, but only one night um, at every time. So um, I thought the nights would be better, but um, they was all in all okay. And it is also great to find out where my border is. Um, I had to make some skills better, for example the boat roll, but I tried at home so long till it works. Um, yeah, I, I think I can do this, I only, I only had to try and don't think always that um, it will work um, and then I had nothing, so um, just try it before and don't want so high from here till here so fast so it was a great time and I'm glad that you joined me thank you and I hope we see us again in the next movie have a great time bye bye